What's up? Welcome to One Crack News, and we're going to get there with some breaking news here. Now, it was clarified that 50 Cent and Takashi, he tried to get him help, and he sought out, sought out help, someone to help Takashi 6ix9ine in his situation. That 50 didn't abandon him, he tried to get the kid a lawyer to help him out. Now, this was always known. We didn't know who the lawyer was in the case. But we did know that 50 tried to reach out and get the kid a lawyer, and he found out, you know, some things about the kid. Now, to clarify everything that went down, the lawyer who he got for him was Isaac Wright Jr. In case many of you don't know who Isaac Wright Jr. is, this is the guy who was accused of being a drug dealer by dirty police officers, was set up, and for seven years, he read books in the library, studied the law, he was given life in prison, but being a drug dealer, him and his co-defendant, he studied the law book. And not only did he get a retrial, he went to trial and he learned the law and got a retrial. After that officer was found guilty for all the things that he's done, he got himself a retrial, defended himself in court, and ended up becoming a lawyer. And that lawyer is Isaac Wright Jr was sentenced to life for being a drug dealer, learned the law while being locked up, became a lawyer, and took down those who set him up. 50 Cent is producing that movie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and that is his attachment to Isaac Wright Jr. So I don't know where everyone's getting off that he's 50 Cent's lawyer. 50 Cent has got a deal with ABC and he's working on to make the Isaac Wright story. So it's going to be very interesting. So I, 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 you know, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching this. Now, uh, Isaac Wright went on his Instagram and said that the story behind the scenes of the true story. <laughs> I like the way he said that. He said, this the what didn't come out of the Breakfast Club interview with 50 Cent. 50 tried to help 6ix9ine. 50 called me and asked me to represent 6ix9ine. I went to check on him in MDC in Brooklyn. When I got there, they gave me an excuse that he was in court, then immediately transferred him to Queens Detention. When I went to Queens, 6ix9ine refused to see me. That's when it was clear he was cooperating. Sad part is he didn't have to do that. I would have gotten him off without him having to sell his soul. Wow. Then he said, you will see certain media outlets such as XSL, Complex, New Hip Hop, Took my post revealing that 50 Cent asked me to represent 6ix9ine and, and misrepresented it. To be clear, everything 50 Cent said on The Breakfast Club was true. 50 Cent did not know that 6ix9ine was cooperating until I confirmed it with him after two failed attempts by me to visit 6ix9ine at two separate detention facilities. If 50 knew, 6ix9ine was cooperating. He never would have sent me over there and asked me to represent 6ix9ine. So, Isaac Wright Jr. has confirmed what the world should have been telling you from the jump. about the 6ix9ine case. So the guy who's telling me, somebody was telling me that, hey man, that's 50 Cent lawyer, dog. 
That's what 50 lawyer do. I don't know if he's 50 lawyer. But I know 50 Cent and him have a relationship because 50 is producing the film. And the documentary or whatever, however format they're going to use to bring about this um, program. So for that, you know, that alone is basically worth it. <laughs> At this point, when you say, look, we've seen all different type of activities or whatever you want to call it, you know? But one thing's for certain, two things for sure. 50 Cent is not a stupid man. He's not going to go over there knowing that 6 9 is snitching and then send somebody over there. That makes zero sense. I think that most of you are just hung up on the sensation of 50 Cent just listening to other people and you're getting caught up in the fascination of the thing. He just tried to help the kid. Naturally. That's it. That's the only way I see it. <laughs> and I mean, what, you, what more did you want from the guy? I mean, if you try to help somebody out and they act in a certain type of way, what more can you do for them? As, as far as Isaac Wright Jr., he's gotten a lot of people out of situations because just simply because he knew the law. A lot of people came for him for representation. A lot of the cops don't like him, period. You know, because... They see him coming, they think bad news right away because he's been beating all these police officers and making them follow procedures. And his thing is, look, the law is the law. And they know that most of the guys don't know the law. He went and educated himself while incarcerated. That's a winner to me. I mean, granted, he got life and he had nothing else to do. But he could have did what a lot of people do, just say F it. They ain't gonna let me out of here. He went and educated himself. And said, I'm gonna get myself out of here. This will not be the end of me. They got people to lie on him, on the stand, everything. He found all this evidence out. And got a judge to agree. And he had braids. <laughs> A brother with braids did. So when they tell you your hairstyle and all these things are important and all this stuff, brother with braids had this done. Just to let you know. So if you believe it, you can achieve it. As corny as that sounds, it is true. But you have to believe it. Because if you don't, then how the hell could you expect to achieve it? Now, 6 9 is scheduled to testify this week. Let's see how well they take care of him now. Because the way it looks from what he was facing... He really didn't have to cave that quick. But knowing the type of person he is, he seems like a person that gets scared really quick and they shook him up and he quickly wanted to do something so he can get back to doing what he was normally doing. Like that was going to happen. Like that was a promise that could happen. If there's a way he could weasel out of something and throw someone else under the bus, Believe me, that looked like the kind of guy that would do it. 
and he did not disappoint as that is the first thing he looked to do. But hopefully this ends the 50 Cent Takashi controversy. <laughs> so on that note, I'm out.